going on, everyone? Evan Smith, 22 here, bringing you another OS Vets game. Bengals versus the Panthers. The Panthers come into this game. They were perennially a playoff contender every year for the last four years, but this time they're not going to make the playoffs, unfortunately, while the Bengals are riding a nine-game win streak and hoping to continue that win streak. They have every superstition in the book they are using right now. They're putting on the same socks every day and trying to keep this win streak going. <laughs> it's going to be a fun game, and uh, the Panthers do play pretty hard in this one. Right now in the AFC, things are looking to tighten up, and actually it looks like the playoffs are pretty much sewn up. And the playoff teams look to be the Jets, the Bengals, the Ravens, the Browns the Broncos, the Colts. The Kansas City Chiefs had an outside chance. Um, they went on a six game win streak, but they are only eight and six. They were two and six when they went on the run. So it's kind of sad to see that they're not gonna make the playoffs this year. In this game, the Bengals try to pass the ball and they try to mix in the run game. And uh, for the most part, it seemed unsuccessful to this point until A.J. Green burns the entire defense. The Carolina Panthers just let him slip by. It looked like cover two, and the safety just played too far up. Can't do that to A.J. Green. And the Carolina Panthers with some more bad breaks early. Cam Newton overthrowing a curl route. David Geddes didn't get us the ball on that one. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Calvin Fletcher with a nice little catch there, moving the Bengals within scoring range. And then the Bengals will just go ahead and punch this in. Octavius Hardy is having an amazing second half of the season. It almost looks like he's on pace for 2,000 yards. We'll see what he can do the rest of the way. There's still two games to go after this. Bengals up 14-0, getting the sack there, making it third and long. And the Panthers will try to convert here. And they get the completion, but it's fourth and inches. They're going to be forced to punt. Bengals get the ball back, and Hardy's going to find some room to run, something he's been doing a lot of lately. He's already eclipsed 1,500 yards rushing, but believe it or not, there's running backs in OS Vets that are closing in on 3,000 yards. Matt Forte is going to be the first running back in the history of ever to run for 3,000 yards. All hail Matt Forte. Right there, the Bengals just couldn't get anything going, and it was good defense by the Panthers getting the sack on a third and short, but the Bengals are going to come back and play great defense. Nate Allen making the interception and taking the ball inside the 15-yard line. Nate Allen's a ball hawk. you got to watch out for him, but he hasn't made many plays lately, so that's good to see him getting going again. Here, Hardy is going to find a hold, break a tackle, and score a touchdown, putting the Bengals up. 21 to nothing early, and it looks like the Bengals have a chance to run away with this game. And things get better for them as they get another sack. Robert Quinn, who now leads the team in sacks, it's a competition between him and Michael Johnson to see who will end up with the most sacks. And the Panthers couldn't muster anything on this drive. They're going to go three and out, and the Bengals will get the ball right back. 21 nothing completed to the free agent George Bins. But he's down on the play, and everything stops as the Bengals unfortunately have to witness George Bins get carted off the field, and that will be the end of his season. A broken hip will do him in. The free agent played a great season, as many of you following the Bengals know, but it seemed to be the end of the road for George Bins, and the, the Bengals will take it pretty hard. They seem to lose focus. Because on this play, I have one golden rule. It's to never turn the ball over inside scoring range. And not only did I turn it over there, I threw a pick six. I think the whole team was just focused on George Benz going down. It was that sad. No, but getting back to the game, the Panthers are going to score that touchdown, making it 21-7, and that's going to give them some life. But uh, when it rains, it pours. The Bengals are going to try to make something happen on this play. And again, another pick. The safety making the great read. No pick six here, though. The Bengals are going to get plenty of room to play some defense. Right now, first and ten. The Panthers trying to run, and they're getting the ball moving down the field now. They're going to try to score again to close this gap. The Panthers are a dangerous offensive team. Cam Newton's going to get sacked third and 15. It doesn't look like they'll convert, but they're going to complete the pass. 
They're just short of field goal, so they're going to go for it on fourth down here. The Bengals looking to play some defense, and it looked like cover two, but Nate Allen is going to make another play. Amazing game for Nate Allen. Huge breakup. Now the Bengals have the ball with about three minutes to go. I'm sorry, one minute to go. Alexander's going to catch it there, moving the ball to mid-range. And now the Bengals are going to wind the clock. They don't want any more Panthers points before the half. Good catch there by Calvin Fletcher getting the Bengals just outside of field goal range. Hardy is going to move them into field goal range here. The Bengals looking to honor their golden rule this time around, and they will. They'll get the three points, and they'll take a 24-7 lead going to half. And the Bengals have executed their plan to almost perfection this time around, but not quite with that pick six. That really did hurt. And in the second half... They're going to have to play good defense because the Carolina Panthers, man, they have a great offense and they're liable to go off at any point in this game. And right there, Keith Rivers misses a tackle in the backfield and the cluster gets the first down. It's that easy. One missed tackle can lead to bad things. And the Bengals really trying to stay focused on defense here. They're getting a sack right there, forcing it to second and 15. They've been on Cam Newton all day so far, and they're trying to make him make mistakes. But as I said, the Panthers, ice cold when it comes to making conversions. They get it right there, and then they answer with a touchdown. All of a sudden, that 21-point lead is 10 points, and there's still 15 minutes to go in this game. The Bengals fake a handoff there, trying to make something happen, and somehow Marcel Reese slips open in the zone. And he actually gets a huge pickup getting it past midfield. Now the Bengals looking like they're going to score again. Fletcher moving it into field goal range here. And the Bengals continue to move this ball down the field. And winding clock. There's a minute 40 left. There the Panthers play good defense. And the Bengals right now, they're just looking to get into field goal range. And it looks like they're going to accomplish their goal. But wait a minute. Don't say it's holding. Oh my goodness, holding bites the Bengals in the face. It was that bad, and it looks like it's going to be 3rd and 24. They're going to have to convert. Last week they had a 3rd and 24, and they did not convert it. Can they do it this week? Well, they're going to try. They're throwing it up for Dinero Alexander. It looks close, but they're going to give him the first down. The Bengals convert, and now all of a sudden it goes from... The Bengals are out of field goal range too. They have a chance to score and they are. Hardy breaks a huge run. He finds a hole and he scores a touchdown. So it goes from being potentially no points to now the Bengals have a 17 point lead. And then, as I said, when it rains, it pours. The first play after the touchdown, McCluster fumbles. Keith Rivers is going to capitalize and run it in for a touchdown. And now it is 38 to 14, 10 minutes to go in the fourth. And the Panthers are down by 24 now. The Panthers' season has just been one big series of unfortunate events. And they're still going to keep fighting, though. They're going to try to make some plays now. They're getting the ball past the 50, and they're going to try to score. If they score, they still have a chance. But we'll see if they can do it. Nice completion over the middle there, getting them into field goal range. Greg Olson with a nice catch. Cam Newton dropping back to pass. Another nice quick completion getting them into the red zone now and things are starting to look a little better there's a handoff to McCluster and he just gets laid out the ball comes loose and the Bengals will come up with it another just bad break for the Panthers that'll effectively end their run at any kind of comeback they get a nice three and out there though and the Bengals are forced to punt and the Panthers are gonna get the ball back here and they're gonna try to get some points on the board. There's still five minutes to go, and it looks like even though the score is out of range, they're going to keep on fighting and try to make something happen. Completion there to David Geddes. He's hurt, but he'll be back. It's just a bruise. He'll shake it off. Right now, Cam Newton dropping back to pass, and it's intercepted. Arnold Schwarzenegger says, what are you doing? And the ball gets taken back by the Bengals, and with a minute and 20 to go, the game's pretty much over. The Bengals are just going to run it, kick a field goal here, and that'll give them a 41-14 lead. The game is pretty much over at this point. The Bengals have one last defensive play to send this game home. 
and they're going to win it 41 to 14. Orazio with the final interception. Bengals improved to 12 and 2 now. They still have not won the division. They play the Buffalo Bills next week. A win there will give them the division win that they're looking for, and it will also give them a first round bye. The Bengals right now are tied for first with the Jets at 12 and 2. They win this game by a big margin and that helps nice play there at the end by AJ Green it's gonna be interesting to see what happens this playoffs especially since we're coming so close to Madden 13 now people are excited for that game but you still gotta keep your eyes focused on the prize there's still a Super Bowl to be won and there's gonna be some new teams fighting for it I've been Emmett Smith 22 you've watched the Bengals versus the Panthers peace <laughs>